guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and in this video, I am going to be showing you a real Manchester United shirt and a fake Manchester United shirt, showing you the difference in comparison between the both of them. Now, you know, this team you were in the shirt, the new one I actually bought, is actually a fake one, but you would, from the outside, you would actually think it's the real thing. Which that is actually quite something, it really is. But I'll show you side by side comparison. Right, this is the leopard print one. This one I purchased a few years ago from the Adidas website. Seeing so how this is proper stuck on like glue. That is some proper legit. And this one, see, slightly. This one has definitely been sewn on. And here I can look at the back. Look, see, the Adidas logo has been stitched and slightly a bit loose thread in there, but actually doesn't look too bad. See that badge? Yeah, that's proper. The badge is proper being glued on. Look at that, see? And this one definitely feels like it's been sewn on. And you have a look at the shirt inside, the logo. Yeah, it feels much thinner material, but no, as long as it washes okay and it stays on, you know, I'm really not too bothered about it being fake. Of course, obviously, when we still had the Chevrolet logo, that's still on there. Team Fewer logo. Yeah, and the way the Team Viewer logo seems stuck on, you would feel it's probably identical to, like, the normal shirt. Adidas now. Let's have a look inside. See? Tell that it's a genuine Adidas label because, look, it says large. It says climate. Made in Vietnam. And you have a look at this one. Look... See, side by side comparison, the sizing label is much bigger on the fake one, and also the Adidas logo is bigger. You courage, and you have a look at the material. Like, if I put my hand in it, you can see, yeah, you slightly. See my fingers, put it in this one. Ah, you can hardly see them. So you can tell which is the difference between a real Manchester United shirt and a fake Manchester United shirt. Hold on, turn this around. See, got my name on the back of this one, Josh19. The reason why I put 19 on it is because obviously... My birthday is on October the 19th, and I call 19 my birthday number. So, Adidas, yep, that's probably been stuck on that, that printing. I haven't got any printing, but, yeah, I just want to show you side-by-side -side comparison between the two Manchester United shirts, which is a fake one, and which is a real one. Now, I mean, the fake one, obviously, you know, it may not last as long as the real thing, but that 29 quid I paid, none of it is going to the glaciers. So I'm very happy about that. And we have a look. And also you can tell it's a fake one because it says arrow ready. The label. Again, look, see... A lot of, like, Chinese rice in there. Yeah, but, yeah, actually, for a fake one, it actually looks quite impressive. So, yeah, I mean, I'm very happy in it because, like I said, no money is going to the glaciers, so that's the main thing. The scene here, logo. 
Actually, I still think it looks probably better than the Chevrolet logo. I'm liking it already, the Team Hero logo. But I just want to show you a side-by-side -side comparison to make you aware of what to look out for if you're purchasing a real jersey or a fake jersey. But I mean, this jersey for 29 quid I purchased as a fake, the quality is actually really decent. So I'm quite happy with it. And the Team Viewer logo looks quite secure on it. Now, of course, I could do side-by-side -side comparison, like have the real shirt next to fake Team Viewer shirt, but, you know, I'm not paying money for the real shirt. So, yep, and that's that. But quality-wise, I think it's decent. So the things to look out for is you'll notice what's a real jersey is the badge is properly stuck on and the adidas logo this has been sewn on sewed on and so is this been sewed on and also like i said the sizing on the fake is much bigger than the legit thing so yeah these are the things to look out for if you're purchasing a real jersey or a fake jersey a few people on youtube have done this so i thought it'd be a good idea but i am impressed with the quality and this thing here one as a fake you would almost think it's the real thing bye bye